Hey guys, Dakari here and welcome back to my channel and today we are on season 1 episode 12 of Fringe. I loved the last one, I love every single episode of this show so far. So I have high hopes for this next one. So without further ado, let's roll the intro and get straight into it. Here we go. It is impossible. I'm really good at math, it's impossible. I'm not another intellectual. I feel like they always have a rough time in the show. We'll be back around 10. He's been hypnotized by it. I love you. He's got a look of Taylor Lautner. What was that? Oh, now I've got the ring vibes. If they whisper seven days in a minute, I'm out of here. Okay. I like how simple the uh, title sequence is. Oh, I used to love this game. Bit of operation. Oh, you silly goose. You said you brushed your teeth. Did you also completely dry your toothbrush? A brush. Like talking to Grayson. I just love being lied to. Parenthood. No due respect. Darwin got it all wrong. Oh, he did, did he? Darwin's thinking was rather unevolved. But um bum. <laughs> hey, that was Olivia. She needs you guys outside. Corner's on his way with a body. I know there's something bizarre out there. I just don't know what it is. A grab bag of disturbing events, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He didn't listen to a thing. Was he on the computer last night? Most nights he spends all his free time there. Playing games, trading songs. Trading songs? Gotta collect them all. Drain the remainder of his brain once that's done. All I know for sure is that his brain matter has been completely liquefied. Oh. You're saying that his brain could have been cooked by an STD. Safe sex is important. You do always have your sexual partners wear a condom. Oh, Walter. Doesn't even phase Olivia now. Be sure to check his floppy disks as well. Ah, <laughs> floppy disks. They're a little outdated, why don't you? Remember those guys? I do. I'm old. Something's wrong. The hard drive platters must be fused. You sure? Linguistics major, computer science minor. Oh, well, you just know everything, don't you? Do you think you can get anything off this? Uh, I know some pretty aggressive data retrieval techniques. Her hair is amazing. I'm looking for Luke Dempsey. Yeah, He's an actual fetus. He looks way too young to be working in as a mechanic, unless he's like on an apprenticeship or something. No, no, no. Peter, just got a call about another body. That was a cool shot as it went around her there. I like that. Sir. Little. Broyles. Well, what exactly happened? Bishop. Doctor. Broyles. <laughs> Ugh. I don't do sick. I don't do sick at all. When was the last time you saw him alive? Last night. It's a bar we go to sometimes. Has a strong brow. Oh God. <clears throat> He's dead. You can't do this. <laughs> I feel so tender. Can I take your card in case I need to ask you some more questions? Yeah, sure. My cell's on there. And if you're uh, ever interested in a new vehicle, we have uh, next year's models in. You're thinking about that right now? Interesting. It looks like both the computers downloaded a huge file, 657 megabytes. Huge file. Is it you? Mm -mm. I haven't heard that sound for ages. Oh, of course, Walter would recognize it. I didn't even know it worked. Hello? There's nobody here by that name. Yes, I'm sure. So I think you got the wrong number. Interesting. Some student looking for financial aid. You little liar. That was a lie. I think I might know who was just on the phone. She's going to confide in Olivia. Oh, 
oh, come on, I want to know. Right, what, what's everyone's guesses? Obviously, you know anyway, don't you? <laughs> Mine is maybe something to do with his past life. So, like, his old girlfriend, maybe? What do you got? Looks like under my desk. <laughs> Fire management is not a thing under there. His eyes are just, oh, I adore them. I think I know what Billie Eilish is singing about, guys. This case clearly falls under the jurisdiction of the CDC. Logical scientists no signs who see these things every day. Let her talk, Harris. 12 hours. After that, I shut you down and put the case in what I believe will be considerably more capable hands. I hate this guy. This program's being downloaded right now, real time. Then that's the next target. Here in Boston, it's close by. Brighton. Oh, there's a Brighton in Boston as well. There. That's where it's going. Oh my god. Why he knows this place. Do they have to keep showing those images? Like, I've seen it. <laughs> the victims downloaded the same transmission and it's happening again right now. Where? Your apartment. Oh, what? Not Ella. <gasps> Ella, no. What's his sister's name again? Oh God. Ah, uh, look, Rachel's not picking up her cell. Rachel. Don't click it. Do not click that. Mom. Good girl. Although is her mom then gonna click it? Don't. No! Peter, please. They're not even there. They're not even pulled up yet. It's just us. Ella? Ella? Aunt Liv? She got there in time. Flashes on the computer screen when I first came in. Like bursts of images. Oh, so she did see that. She was hypnotized. I'm gonna call computer forensics. Charlie's like, for the love of God, what now? Trot, trot to Lynn. <laughs> Better watch out, boy. Of course, he's good with kids. Of course, he is. Maybe you could talk to your sister. She could give me the weekend off. It's not really the weekend off type. That was always more me. Nah. It really happened. How? I hate this. I don't want you to go on that side anymore, okay? Wait, I know that guy. That's right, sweetheart. I'm the he... one you're looking for. Was he a cop in something? Who's there? It's, it's just me, Dad. Hey, Luke. Dempsey. What are you doing here? I thought I'd bring you some lunch. Right, so he has no idea what he's doing. Why target his mate? And why target Olivia? What is it that you're working on? A new program. I don't want to jinx it. I think uh, it's going to impress a lot of people. I know his face. I hate that I get like this, and I'm sure it's extremely frustrating for you guys, but like, I don't rest until I realize who it is, which is not a strong suit of mine. How's Ella doing? The doctor says she's perfectly healthy. There's no sign of neurological damage, nothing. Royals wants to say something. The data stream that was sent to Olivia's computer. And this data stream, you think it may be connected to what killed those people? You should do voiceover work, Royals. Hey. Now, Joan, are you alive in there? Nope. Not alive. Mark! Oh, God. Olivia Dunham. We got another death. Olivia Dunham. Find us a murderer. Well, send me everything you can on the victim. I'll meet you inside, okay? But she also knows what was on that letter. I read your letter, and I can understand, of course, why you would want to see my father. I need to see him. To do what? To blame him for the accident? I'm sorry, it's not going to happen. Could she not have just gone into the school while Peter was out to talk to Walter? Oh, Agent Dunham. I hope you've washed your hands. I think I know who that woman was outside she's the mother of the lab assistant that was killed in the fire here almost 20 years ago underestimate him 
your father, and you shouldn't. I don't think he's underestimating him, though. I think he's just trying to protect him. If things are going well, he wants to keep it going well. Any information on his next of kin? It's sad, actually. He just got married last year. And Miriam Dempsey. I have her number here. Dempsey again. So is that his ex-wife? What are the chances of, of the same kid being connected to both victims? Said that the reason he was friends with the victim was because their fathers worked together. Is everything just taking the phone off the wall? From the tone, it sounded like you were having an argument. I tried to expense a couple Celtic tickets on the FBI. She got me. Oh, I see. I hope she doesn't notice the two thousand dollars for the baboon seminal fluid I ordered. I hope I can recall why I ordered it. I actually love him. I think he's brilliant. He's so freaking good. <laughs> Brian Dempsey. He used to work for Paul Wiles. Greg's dad? Exactly. He was Dempsey's boss. Is he from True Blood? I need to rewatch that show. It's been that long. I don't remember anything. Donna, where's our suspect? There was no sign of him at home. We picked up his son from work. He won't tell us anything. It's your job to make sure that doesn't happen. I'm more than familiar with passive coercion. Good. Can we get rid of this guy already? Hands around him and squeeze. Put my little hands around your neck in a minute. Every time that guy opens his mouth, I like him more and more. You know what happened to your stepfather? I told you about Greg myself. Come on, Luke. Is it necessary to show him that? Do me a favor. Wait five minutes, then release him. What about Harris? Screw him. Yeah, let's... Yes. Yeah, hi. Take care. They're gonna follow him instead. I need to hear that call. Oh, can they do that? He just called a cab. One guess where it's taking him. Oh, come on. He cannot possibly be that stupid. He's 19. Good point. <laughs> do you know what's mad? We haven't even discussed Mitch in this one. I care for your father, too. And I believe that shielding him from the truth, from what's real, ultimately does him a disservice. And what you said earlier about this being none of your business, that was right on the money. Okay, Peter, let's just tone it down. I mean, obviously, he's going to get passionate because it's about his dad. Harris wants me to screw this up. If I call for help, he's going to do whatever it takes to make me look bad. Oh, what's going to go wrong here now, then? Because something will. He wants her to fail so bad. Trace the GPS in Dunham's car. I want to know where she is now. This guy. CBA with him? He's going to put it on the, all the screens and she's going to end up hypnotised in this bloody room. Don't look at it. Stay right where you are. Come on, Pia. You never do what you're told. Don't start now. Okay. Stay back or I'll kill you too. I can't believe he's actually staying in the car. Better late than never, you beautiful, beautiful man. Mr. Dempsey, look away from the screen. Luke, Luke. What is it doing here? No, I didn't. He went into a trance and shot himself. It'll be on camera, surely, anyway. So she can prove that it weren't herself, right? Tell me there were cameras in that room. Oh yeah, there was, because it, it, she looked directly into it. He knew he was killing those people. Why would the kid protect a murderer like that? Because it's his father. Ooh, the, the parallels there now. That's why he's protecting Walter. Sanford. Interesting day. Yeah, I bet. From what I can tell, Agent Dunham closed this case in spite of your obstructions. Your credit concern looks an awful lot like a personal vendetta. And if you push it, I will stick my career on her behalf. Are you threatening me, Phil? Yeah, you better know it. Dr. Olivia Dunham, you're going after me and all the red tape in the world won't protect you. The chills I've got. Are you sure you're up for this? Yeah, he's up for it. Now piss off. Go on, Broyles, lad. There's a woman here who wants to talk to you. She pretty? She's right there. If you need me, I'll be right here. How does he do that? The amount of emotions I've just seen on that man's face. I can't. Is he just going to hug her? I want to see you because 
You were the last person to see my daughter alive. I miss her. <laughs> okay, that got me. That got me. Good night, sweetheart. Night. What is that creepy picture on the wall? I wanted to say that I'm sorry. You were right. Why sorry, though? I don't think she needed to hear a sorry. Hi. Okay, no, Rachel. I'm sure you're lovely, but do not get in the middle of this. <laughs> don't ruin my ship. Okay. Don't look at him like that. So I'll see you tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, God, this show is so good. That one got me emotional. Like, it really did. I think that the way that he plays Walter Bishop is so layered, so fantastic. And like I say, all he did, there was no words there. It was all just emotion from his face. And all, I just, I can't. It gets me emotional. 10 out of 10 performance by everyone involved and i'm so relieved that this girl's mom wasn't there with any malicious intent it was i need to just know more i need to know what's going on and i'm hoping that it it will continue that route and if walter sticks to his word and opens up and says everything that he remembers from his time with her daughter i hope that it continues uh, on a good path and it doesn't end up painting Walter in a in a bad light because let's face it we know that he hasn't made the best decisions in the past he's extremely intelligent but it does get him in trouble at the same time because people are scared of the unknown and his intellect knows no bounds he is I mean he created a freaking time machine <laughs> like I'm hopeful that we will continue to just really protect Walter Bishop and I want to stay on the, the same path as well of enjoying his character because I know that like the best characters that I've grown to love in TV are always those that have flaws because the perfect person it just doesn't exist everyone that we know has their flaws and some are aware of them some not so much but you relate, you relate to those people. And that's what I'm finding with this show as well. Like even in this episode with Peter, he starts sort of yelling at Olivia in a way and he gets quite heated about it. I guess that was why he was apologizing. But if he was to just calmly say, you know, I'm scared. I'm scared of introducing Walter to his past again because I don't think he's ready. I've only just seen him, things are good, and I don't want to ruin that. If he just said that straight away, to me, it just wouldn't be realistic. He's needed that light bulb moment and, and seeing how other relationships have gone on. Like, he was so surprised that Luke stuck up for his dad, even though he knew that his dad was a bad guy and he was killing people that have done him dirty. So... Olivia looking to Peter and saying, because it's his dad. Like, you know that the flaws are there. You know that they're doing bad things. But you also know all the good that they've done, that there's a lot of history there. You know, that is why. And he needed to see that to realize why he was doing what he was doing. Because he knows in himself, Walter has done bad things. But he also knows that he is a great guy. And he was doing what Luke's doing. He was just protecting his dad straight away without knowing all of the facts as well. So him seeing that and then deciding to listen to Olivia's words and say, all right, then we'll, we'll give this a go. And it ended up being completely fine. He's took that as like a learning moment and then gone to Olivia to, to basically thank her for opening up his eyes. I just, it's great to see the whole journey there, you know? 
and I, I think that the pacing of this is it's just really fantastic I am a little bit nervous about Rachel and Peter now because obviously he's she's seen Peter with Ella her daughter and seen how amazing he is and then obviously seen those ocean eyes of his and just gone hmm I like he what I see uh but I think Olivia spotted that look as well and maybe that will encourage her to uh realize her own feelings because I do think that she is into Peter I just think she's told herself to completely cut off any sort of emotion after being burnt so badly uh, by John Scott so yeah I'm hoping that they don't go down the sister route because that would make it a little bit weird for my ship uh, because if someone was dating my sister the hells no I would not take a second look so I kind of don't want that to happen Rachel I'm sure you're lovely but it's Olivia and Priya. <laughs> All down down. Even though this episode was fantastic and flowed brilliantly, I am surprised that we didn't link it back to everything that we figured out in the last couple of episodes. And I think that's what's strange for me now. I'm hoping that episode 13 will suck us back in to the main arc as well um but yeah i don't want people to think i'm dissing on episode 12 because it, it was a brilliant episode it really really was uh, i'm just like i say surprised that we didn't hear about mitch we didn't hear about the evil guy whose name i just always seem to forget and i don't know why and i hate myself for that i'm sorry and not only that but olivia was being hunted as well so surely that there's more to this as well and nina so Olivia's safe now, we know this, uh, but we haven't heard back from Nina because she seemed genuinely curious about the safety of Olivia. So yeah, I kind of want to get back into that in episode 13. Please and thank you. We'll crack an episode, one that got me really emotional and it definitely got us deeper into the, the character dynamic of this show and learning more about Peter, Walter, Olivia, like the whole gang even Astrid to a degree because we now know that she's extremely intelligent when it comes to tech as well I feel like every one of these shows always has like that one character that's like amazing at everything but doesn't seem to get that recognition for being unbelievable and saving the day multiple times so I think in this show it's gonna be Astrid <laughs> she's gonna be the underplayed character but again I could be in my words like it's early on and it's only season, season one so maybe Astra becomes a very significant part of the show I don't know yet but I'm excited to find out really enjoying it guys and I hope that you guys are as well watching these reactions if you are give the video a like so it lets me know that you are or let me know in the comments if you care to share your thoughts and opinions on this episode down below I will make sure that I read them and yeah I want to take the time as well as just say thank you for all those that are leaving your comments about these reactions it means a lot i was nervous about getting these shows out onto youtube as well but the pilot is now up as we speak and it seems to be going well so twitch wood it continues that way i still need some moderators guys so please let me know uh, in the comment section I'll, I'll definitely get in touch and uh try and sort something out when it comes to mods as well so I would appreciate it and I shall leave it there. A massive shout out to all of my members and a special one to my patrons in the Mark of Jane tier. Keeping the content alive. Thank you so much for all that you do. And I hope that you're enjoying the schedule so far. So we are introducing The Expanse now as well. Cobra Kai, when that comes to an end, Expanse will start. And I also still have multiple pilots in mind uh, to, to dive into. Dollhouse is a very common one at the minute. Uh, and The Last Kingdom uh dark as well too many to list so watch this space guys head over to patreon uh to check those out and i yeah i hope to see you again soon for another video thank you so much guys goodbye for now and before we completely sign off let's take a comment from that dat pack and today i've chosen michael michael says this episode and this is from my 1010 reaction says my god i've probably seen it five or six times and i still watch it with my mouth wide open revelation after revelation things coming together other clues being left just one punch after another i love it so much 
This was originally the mid-season cliffhanger for the first season and we had to wait a month and a half, which is a lifetime, I bet it was, when you're watching at Fringe. I love watching your mind work as you watch. I'm not laughing at you at all. I'm actually amazed by you as I watch you put things together. You're just the best and your love for this type of show really shows. Thank you so much, Michael. So very glad to be along for the ride as you take this journey, Dakara. Honestly, as you can see, like it just makes me smile because you're completely right. This is my type of show. I love dissecting. I love predicting. And yes, my predictions can be way off base a lot of the time, but I also just love to embrace the twists and turns within shows. Like I'd rather be caught off guard uh, than just oh, nailing all the predictions every single time and it not surprising me like I, I do love to be surprised obviously it feels good to get predictions right as well though so it's like a win-win for me but thank you for not laughing at me at least Michael for, for all those predictions and uh and I can only imagine how much fun it's gonna be knowing everything that's gonna happen and then listening to some random stranger chatting bubbles for 20 minutes at the end of each episode trying to put the pieces together somewhat failing no doubt uh, but such a good feeling. It's really, really enjoyable. Thank you, Michael, for sharing your thoughts. And it means so freaking much that you're enjoying it. I hope you know that. Don't forget, guys, if you would like to see one of your comments at the end of these videos, don't forget to leave them in the comment section below. Maybe yours will be next. But until next time, goodbye for now.